Quarterfinals day in Madrid and quite a lineup which included two current Grand Slam champions in Lina and Victoria Azarenka. After Lee deservedly won the opening set, Azarenka battled back and the world number one also oh, broke wait, first wait, 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 in the decider. It's a four unforced errors and Azarenka is broken. First game, final Lee's game was now nowhere near the level of earlier in the contest with Azarenka in command. Powerful stuff. The Belarusian, who was runner-up here last year, closed it out to reach her sixth WTA semi-final of the season. There it is. Victory for Victoria Azarenka. She wins it. A very tough match, which has come through. 3-6. 6-3, 6-3 in an hour. Next up, arguably the day's standout tie on paper as Maria Sharapova and Serena Williams met for the tenth time in their careers. Serena had won the past six and she also took the opening set here, although Sharapova did have a bit more of the play in the second. Very well read Sharapova. Serena trying to be a little clever. Why not? In general, though, Serena proved to be too powerful and precise for the Russian. And is punished. Uh, serve was a good one. Like Sharapova, Serena hadn't lost on clay this year and was in no mood to see her record perish. You can't beat that. That is just wonderful. And it was Sharapova's that did as Serena well, completed well, a crushing victory. Third double fault in this game. Six double faults overall. There it is. Serena Williams has pretty much destroyed Maria Sharapova. 6-1, 6-3 in one hour and 18 minutes. Later in the day, fourth seed Agnieszka Radvanska oh, took on one of the two qualifiers still it's left it. in the draw, America's Vavara Lepchenko. Okay. Five minutes. Radvanska, who'd won their previous two matches, won the opening set and also twice went up a break in the second. Well, I think it's a bad there mistake from Lepchenko. Buenas bolas, por favor. You both, please. But Lepchenko, who'd upset world number 11 Francesca Schiavone earlier in the week, did hold serve to hang on. And that's caught the line. My word, when she flows, she go, flows. The American then looked to be back in the match when she broke her Vanska to love. It's not over till it's over. Go, and we are back on serve. But Lepchenko couldn't complete the recovery, slipping behind in her very next service game. Oh. And now it's love 30. What a big point the other one was before. Radvanska the winner in straight sets. There it is. Radvanska has won it. Into the semi final she goes, Agnieszka Radvanska. 6 4 6 4, beaten Bavara Levchenko. A disappointing end. An unfortunate end for Levchenko, but it's Radvanska who goes through. The remaining quarter-final at the Mutua Madrid Open featured world number five Sam Stoza, who went up against another qualifier, world number 105 Lucy Hradeshka. No service breaks meant an opening set tie-break where Stoza made the first slip-up. Oh dear. Now there is a problem. Now that maybe sums up this court. Hradeshka is set up after an hour's play. Play. It's just sensational, sensational second serve. My goodness, it rocketed down. And Radeka, the world 105, has taken the opening set from the world number five and the current US Open champion. No break points in the second set, so another tie break. Stoza moving into a 4 2 lead. Radeka battle back though to reach the semi finals. There it is, Radek has done it. 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. She's won the tiebreaker. 
Quite extraordinary. A wonderful win for Lucy Hradeka, the qualifier.